Hello everyone, my name is Katarina Angel, I'm from Portugal, and the title of our paper is Is Donor Side Morbidity a Valid Argument Against the Use of Autologous Fascia Lata in Arthroscopic SCR? These are our disclosures. So, autologous fascia lata has been shown to be effective for the treatment of massive irreparable uterine cafeteers in superior capsular reconstruction, but concerns about donor side morbidity have led to the, um, the development of new grafts and the wide use of these new grafts, even though there's no statistic based evidence that supports this argument. So the purpose of our paper was to report the clinical midterm follow-up evaluation of donor side morbidity in patients who underwent ASCR using a minimally invasive harvested autologous fascia lata graft. We hypothesized that donor side morbidity produced by this technique would not be significant and would be compensated by the shoulder uh, outcome or by the outcome obtained in the shoulder. So 65 patients underwent ASCR with autologous fascia lata between 2015 and 2021. Patients who had less than six months of follow-up, subsequent injuries in either of the lower limbs or who had died during this period were excluded. Functional outcome was obtained through the WOMAC index in the harvested and in the contralateral healthy time. Patient subjective satisfaction was obtained, was assessed using the patient scar assessment questionnaire, the PSAC score, and a subjective dichotomous questionnaire designed by the authors. And pain was assessed using the visual analog scale. Statistical analysis was uh, performed using the SPSS23. Categorical variables were uh, assessed using Pearson key square and Fisher exact tests, and continuous ones. Were, um, were studied using paired sample t test and Wilcoxon sign brain tests. Significance level was set at P.05. So 54 patients met inclusion criteria, but one was lost to follow up. So 52 patients were enrolled in the study with an average age of 65.5 years old, a mean follow up of 38.3, 34% were male and 66% female. The mean WOMAC index obtained in a harvested tie differed from the mean WOMAC index obtained in a contralateral tie healthy by 1%, and this was statistically significant. And the mean sac in a harvested tie differed by the minimum possible sac by 5%, and this was also uh, statistically significant. 92.5% of the patients thought that the tie symptoms were compensated by the shoulder outcome and the same amount of patients would undergo the same procedure again. So the, lo the lowest, the worst WOMAX score in the harvested tie was um, correlated with the, the female gender and with the existence of residual tie symptoms. And 30.2% of the patients had residual tie symptoms, claudication, pain, local herniation, or numbness, but only pain was statistically significant and the mean visual analog scale that classified this pain was 0.9. So in conclusion, at the midterm follow-up, the minimally invasive autologous fascia lata harvesting technique does not produce significant functional or subjective morbidity. The residual thigh symptoms are compensated by the outcome obtained in the shoulder with the SCR technique and the, the, the donor side morbidity obtained with this technique does not seem to be a valid argument against the use of autologous fascia lata in ASCR. Thank you so much for your attention.